Hey everybody, welcome to an intro to Intermediate Music Theory. And yes, just like the other videos I'm posting on here, the title is Straight Clickbait. Because you're more likely to want to watch a video that says how to pass a class than intro to that class. So there you go. Now you know the truth. If you watch the other video, then like I said there, since I was a little dishonest, you can click out if you want to, but I kind of encourage you to watch to the end because some of this advice will probably come in handy. So intermediate music theory one and two, or as we called it when I was in it, second year theory. It picks up where your elementary music theory leaves off. Now there will be, or I think, think there will be a little review. Because of how the COVID stuff is doing this year, I'm not 100% certain how the schedules will do or what textbooks or whatever. But to the best of my knowledge, you will have a little review before going on to the new topics. So there's your good news for the day. But it picks up where elementary music theory leaves off and it will take you up to the level you need to be to go on to form an analysis, which will probably be your third year theory, possibly senior year. It, it depends on when, what order you take the classes. So of course, when I was in this class, we used this textbook, Music and Theory and Practice. It's the ninth edition, the second volume. The first volume was used in elementary theory, as you probably know if you're watching this video. Again, because of the COVID, I can't say that this book that I just showed you will be the textbook. So, but if, if it isn't, I do recommend going ahead and seeing about getting this because it is, let, let me tell you, it's a great tool. It's, it's wonderful. The, and no, I'm not sponsored by them, so that's not why I'm saying get it. But it's a great tool. It has in-depth chapters on all of the topics you'll be studying. The explanations are pretty good. You can, it really goes in depth with how each topic, with each topic. The assignments and the workbook, just like for those of you who have taken elementary theory, same principle as those. Exact, same, as you notice, the cover looks practically identical. I'll just, I'm just going to drill into you what Dr. Brooks would say. Do your homework and do, you know, use the workbook, use the textbook, because in this class especially, understanding the concepts is key. So I really recommend, like I said, if you don't need this book, I still recommend you get it because it's phenomenal. Speaking of textbooks, as you probably already remember from last year, if, again, the schedule's the same, this class two will be separated into a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday class period. You'll still have the written on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the oral or listening on Tuesday, Thursday. And I cannot re repeat this enough, enough times. I'm not sure, but I think that's how it's going to be this year. And again, just like last year for you've taken elementary theory, you will be given the two sight singing books. Instead, but instead of the blue book from Dr. Brooks' class, you'll have the red book. So you'll have a small red book and the big red book. And again, you'll be given the CDs. As you probably expect, this work is going to be harder because it's a step up. That being said, it's important that you still apply yourself to this class because what you're going to learn in this class is vital, I repeat, vital to form an analysis, which will be your next theory class. So again, just like for those of you who have taken the class, or excuse me, not this class, Dr. Brooks class last year, if there's something you don't understand, 
ask questions. Mrs. Long, I'm sure, would be happy to answer your questions. Dr. Brooks, Dr. Gray, our adjunct for formal analysis, any of the professors, the music professors in the department, I'm sure would be happy to help you. Any of, and I'm sure any of the students who've already taken this class that you're about to take will be more than willing to help you. I, of course, are also willing to help if you need, if you have any questions. Just might want to let me know in advance so I check my textbook and get the answers for you. But serious, ask questions if you need help because it's important. Because this material, I dare say, it's much harder, a lot. It will trip you up if you don't pay attention. If you don't read your textbook, if you don't do your homework, this will trip you up. We had a class of six when I was in there and all of us struggled at one time or another because we were notorious for not getting our homework done. Don't be like my class, please. We learned the hard way that the homework and the assignments and the tests and the quizzes and everything was designed to help us understand what we were doing. I'm sure you've heard speeches like this from maybe all of your professors thus far, possibly even Dr. Brooks, especially Dr. Brooks, but it's true. This class, again, is going to help you get to the next class. So if you don't get everything done here, just say a prayer for that next class. Form, just form an analysis. So, to wrap up, read your textbook, do your homework, Apply yourself. It's going to be difficult. At least it'll feel difficult. But I believe y'all got it. And again, ask questions if you need help. I'm sure that you can find someone. Let me put it this way. I don't think you could not find anyone who would be willing to answer your question. So with that being said, hope y'all enjoy the class as much as y'all can, and God bless.